what's up guys welcome to another video tutorial happy to have you here today we're going to be looking at another amazing library called animate.css just at water css animation so it's a an amazing library and as you can see from the name is going to give us some smooth animations onto all of our pages onto all of our projects so Definitely, let's check out how it works and what it's able to do. So, to get started, if you want to use this library, head on to animate.style and you're going to find it on there. And so, once you're on this website, you'll be able to see all the features that this library permits you to do. So, it allows you to have some amazing animations and we're going to check them out in a while. So, let's just check out, first of all, how to install it. So, it's quite simple, quite easy. You can install it with npm or yarn or directly add the scripts onto the head side of your web page you know so that allows you to really add the animation and all you need to do in order to add the animation is just add the classes like you see using this name you're going to add this specific animation and that's the basic usage there's nothing else nothing too complicated to do just by adding the classes you're going to introduce the animation onto your page and the animations are going to take effect when the page is loaded or when the user um, puts that element into focus that's when the animation is going to be used equally they can be used in keyframes as well they can be used in css variables as properties and many many other instances where you can apply them onto you can have them slow slower faster apply different speeds onto them you can see the properties of the speed animate slow is two seconds animate slower and so on and so forth so by adding the different classes onto your elements you're able to introduce these wonderful and amazing animations so they work on all um, div elements they work on all html elements you know if you have a button if you have a card you can easily animate all of them on there so it's quite amazing and quite easy to use so be careful as well not to animate root elements like you don't want to animate all of your pages all of the whole page but you want to animate elements specific items on your page so let's just check out how it works and see what it allows us to do so you can add these animations onto buttons onto text onto sections and many many other things so what does it do let's see so you can add the bounce effects and as you can see the, that's the animation for the bounce you can add the flash it's going to flash once the, it appears on the page or once the user gets it into focus it's going to flash if that's the animation you selected you can add the pause well the pause makes it a little bigger and then it restricts it then you can add the rubber band shake x shake y head shake swing tada wobble jello and many many animations so as you can see they are just so many animations you can go for in here so back in left back in right back in up and back in down back out back out left back out right back out up then even the bounce effect and so on as for like yeah there's a whole bunch of animations you can check out definitely we can't go through all of them but i'm just gonna just cycle through them a little fast so that you should see what they're able to do so it's an amazing library it takes you just a couple of seconds to install it and it really gives you a lot of power so i like the way you can add this animation virtually on every element you don't need to just put them on buttons or on text you can add it virtually on sections of your page and all one not so just be careful not to break the design of your page as these animations are being introduced so it's amazing i really like them so check out all these amazing animations it's quite easy to install and it's very effective so it, the list continues on and on and on on and on so you can definitely check out this documentation for the full list and you can see the best practices how to utilize them accessibility and all one not so it's an amazing tool an amazing library and i really enjoy it so hopefully you get to use it on a future project of yours and it's going to give you some smooth butter animation so i hope you enjoyed the video catch you on the next one